Hello there! Welcome back to my studio. Today we're doing a stroke rose and this is uh, the piece that we're going to be painting. So let's get started! Welcome back to my studio. Today we have something excited. We're going to work on roses. I have several videos about roses. I'm going to uh, put a link at the top to one of them. So go wash it after you have seen this one. Okay, so I am using a paper cup to trace and a pencil and I'm going around. Uh, I want two circles, one larger and one smaller. Uh, first of all, decide after you have seen your piece, decide what you don't mind losing. I love that green cell. I didn't want to lose it, so I left it there. Um, I love these ones in here. What I don't want in, in here is this. So I'm going to put the other one right here. Be, um, in here. This is going to be facing that way and this one is going to be facing that way. And I'm going to put it right here uh, so that it um, I cover that. So that's it. And this is a uh, 10 ounces cup and now I'm going to use um, I believe this is a 7 ounces cup which is smaller than that one although this is too small I want it smaller than this but not as small so let me see if I can find one oh that, this one is perfect size 12 so I'm going to use that in here and I will be right back size of brush is number 16 and um First of all, I'm going to take this uh, red violet and a tiny bit of the green and that will make it a darker purple. <laughs> it looks like that purple in there. So that's the... Um, I'm using the... Let me tell you the colors that I have. I put in my palette. Hansa Yellow. Deco Art Americana Tradition Paints. Hansa Yellow. Yellow. Um red violet tallow blue sap green warm white and titanium white those are the colors that I have and I'm mixing this red violet with a tiny bit of green and I'm going to put it in here the red violet plus a tiny bit of green I'm going to put it in this circle that I did. So I'm adding the red violet plus a tiny bit of green. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. So now I'm going to dress my brush with that uh, red violet. I'm going to take the red violet and I'm going to completely dress my brush with this color. We need to put more and then I'm gonna pick up that green plus that red violet on one side. I need to put more of that red violet. Then on the other side I'm gonna pick the warm white. gonna have a deep black area, dark area, and a lighter area. Now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to start in here and start making the petals. It can be straight. It can, doesn't have to be straight. <laughs> I like things when they're not perfect. But if you want it perfect, you can do it perfect. Like a perfect like that. Okay, that's the first step. 
Now I'm gonna take uh, take the same colors. I'm gonna reload. Let me put more of that that red violet. The same color. So I'm taking red violet on the whole brush. On one side I'm taking the green, and the other side the the warm white, and I am going into my palette and dress my brush. And now I am going to angle the brush like this, like this, oops, with the light going outside. And I'm going to put it in here. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> okay. That's all right. Let's go again. Let me fix this and, and I will... It's probably too dark. I didn't want it, it this dark. That's alright. I can, you can always, you can always um, change the coloring by later doing more uh, color. So let's do the same on the other side. This time we're putting it this way. Okay. I'm gonna redo that because I didn't have enough of the dark. I think I get, need to put more of my white. I mean, warm white. Let's see. I make it lighter than what I did. You can do this as many times as you please. Let's put it more to the outside edge. Let's do it again. This time I want to have more of that warm white. Now we're going to put it, um, one that is a little bit higher. I think I need more paint. Okay, so a little bit higher. And this time I'm going to pick uh, also white to make it even lighter. Reload and leave a small 
space and then you can put another one this one is not at the same uh, as the other one okay and then on the other side it's always <laughs> since I am a uh, righty <laughs> It's always more difficult this side. Okay, so I'm going to leave a space. Running out of paint. Okay, that was not too good. But I'm just going to fix it this way. There you go. So we're going to put another layer and this time it's going to be lighter. So we're going to put more of that white. And we are going to put it, um, let's see. Reload. And uh, see this side. That's right, too. They should not be this separated. <laughs> what I was thinking. <laughs> okay, so let's um, make them start making them roll inside. So this one. And this one. Okay, we can do another layer if you want. But this time lighter, right? Maybe we can extend this one. Let's, let's do that. Uh, let's see. We can, um, let's extend this one. That's gonna, I'm gonna um, darken that in there. Um, see, I wanna do another one inside and then we can start closing them. So we are gonna put one more inside. That was probably more of the white. Maybe like that. You see that all they all go into the center, right? So I'm gonna start closing from the inside to the outside. Like this. I have to you have to leave space for You have to leave space for, um, that was not too clean. So we are closing. Let's close this other one. Tiny bit lower than the other one. And let's take more of the white and close this other one. I'm going to take a lot of the white and do this. That was not pretty.
I don't like that shape in there. Let's start closing these. I'm not too proud of this flower. <laughs> like my other method better. <laughs> Let me clean this brush. These paints are fabulous for this because they um, they do not dry too eat too fast, and you're able to you are able to oops that's too too dark in there. I think I'm gonna put another one in here. Um, they don't drive too fast and you're able to blend, um, spend more time blending. Let's see, I can put another one in here. This is super ugly in there. Let's see, we can put another one in here. Okay, I'm going to dry this. Let's see, maybe one like that. I'm going to dry this, and we are going now to make this prettier. Maybe, maybe one like this in here. Oh. Like that. I started doing it. <laughs> I was supposed to dry it, so I'm gonna dry this and make this rose even prettier. Okay, I'm gonna start by deepening. We are gonna do shadings, highlights, and uh, tints in here. So I'm gonna shade the bowl, the inside of the bowl, with a green plus blue plus the red and make it um, more into the purple side but dark maybe this is too dark let's see that, that's good but uh, let's do it as a float on that side let's use that same color to deepen some areas but with more red okay I'm gonna put more red on my brush and I'm gonna do it's a purple theme uh, so I'm gonna also let's do some deepening on some areas Also giving it a tint of purple. Let's see, we can deepen in here. We can find those um, very um, triangle shape and deepen these.
not everywhere but not everywhere I think that's enough maybe in here and let's go to the worn white and a tiny bit of the diary yellow and you're probably gonna do like I did you're gonna put a lot and go back to clean your brush and take less we're gonna make uh, this side warmer you see that's too too strong that's too strong so let's um, maybe not maybe not because we are going to make it this let's clean it and let's put less like we can do wow this is this was this was not it was not um, completely dry it was not it was not completely dry okay so let's try let's try it more okay okay I need to fix these in here this is the red and Let's see. I'm putting that tint of red and then I can highlight. I'm going to dry these and we can highlight that. In order to make it easier, yes, uh, we have to have the, the pink, which is the red violet plus the warm white. So let's prepare that pink in our brush and then we can put uh, more of the warm white and a tiny bit of the yellow and put it on the top and we are going to highlight some areas it's still too much too much probably need a, a smaller brush for this pink so you're gonna put the red first and the, only on the side of your brush and then you can pick, pick more of the and a tiny bit of the yellow more of the warm white and, and yellow We are uh, highlighting some areas. I'm gonna find a smaller brush this is too too large for this so I'm gonna find a smaller brush and I'm gonna continue highlighting so I have a size 8 brush and I am highlighting some areas let's put it uh, warm in in here it's probably need to have the whole color so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna put the red 
lost the uh, green on one side and uh, one white on the other. More of the one white. Need to put more of the warm white. This need to be blended. So some areas need to have. Stronger highlights. If you don't like it, you can redo it and Okay, I'm going to take the warm white and, oops, not the green, <laughs> the warm white and the purple, I mean the warm white and the blue. Probably a tiny bit of the pink because I don't want it to be a bright, bright blue. And the red um, will make it more purplish. And I'm just gonna put um, the um, tints in here. It probably it needs to have more of the white. Of the white, it needs more of the white. And let's put more of the white with the same color. Let's make it uh, even lighter than that. The same on the this side, same color. At the beginning, when you put it, it's gonna look strange, but when you put more. It's going to look prettier. And putting tints of uh, blue on this side. To make it that side cooler, we, ha we need to have one one side and one cool side. So if we put pink, uh, blue, blue colors on that side. Trust me, it's gonna look prettier. Back to the dark color. Because I think it needs some dark in there. Uh, 
Okay, let's continue with that tinting of the blue. Let's see. Let's put also some on this other one in here. And in this one. And on the ones in here. More of the blue. Um, this one too. Okay, so now we have that tint of blue. We need this one to be as as dark as the other one. They look that they belong together. Okay, now we are going to highlight. Let's try it. Yes, I have very non orange, and I'm going to tint a tiny bit this side with this orange. And I'm going to dry that. I'm going to fix this uh, bowl, the shape of this bowl in here. And let's go to the pink. And uh, even dark, even darker. Reshaping, reshaping your your rows. Still have to put lights on this side, but we are just reshaping with the dark. Okay, so one white plus yellow. And let's do some um, very strong highlights on this uh, flower. Uh, need to have more water in my brush. So the white. Maybe let's put a tiny bit of the pink plus the white. And then the white, one white, and a tiny bit of the yellow to make that warm white even more warmer. <laughs> and that's two. My goodness. I keep using the large brush and it's not good with the large brush. <laughs> Okay. 
some, you have to put a tiny bit of the, uh, and some of them you have to put a tiny bit of the pink because some areas, you know, they're farther. Even more pink. reload. I want to put a tiny bit of the blue on this one. Oops. More of the blue and, and white. I have to uh, dry these and go highlight furthermore. Okay, so the pink plus the warm white. Stronger on this, the path of light is in there. So, the path of light. Highlight the blue section. Seems to be, have
a lot of playing a lot of playing you don't have to do all this and if you don't like it please be kind Okay, I can continue playing <laughs> with this forever, but this is, you get the idea. I'm going to make um, lighter orange tints. on this side We are now using the the orange plus the warm white and making lighter orange tints. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> that's too much. So, in some instances, you can put the pink with the this orange tint, and then it's not um, that um, bright. Okay, I'm gonna stop because I can be here playing with this forever and it's gonna cover probably all of my pink if I do. If you do, go back to your pink, go back to, to the pink. So, I'm going to leave it like this. Um, I want to put a center. So, let's put the center. And 
body want to with the pink I mean the the red violet the blue and the green I'm going to reinforce again my darks keep losing them that's all right you can always put them back and Not much pink left, huh? <laughs> I probably want to fix this. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of the orange with the pink. Oops, more of the white. Maybe more of the white. I said I don't see that in there. Yeah, probably a tiny bit more of the white. want to reinforce <laughs> even more highlight let's go straight to the white and look stronger oh that was oh my goodness that was a light pearl color <laughs> instead of the white I was putting a, a metallic color in there red violet plus green well wow let me put that pearl aside it's a pretty color and take the white Put a tiny bit of white in some areas, stronger white. Uh, let's see. Any bit of the pink with that white. My goodness, I this is gonna be too long. I'm gonna keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on here. <laughs> Phew. Okay, need to put a tiny bit more. Highlight on this side with the white and the blue. Let's see,
good day, Gia. working with the leaves I put a tiny bit of the bind no sap green in here so that I started to make shapes of leaves what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that sap green with the uh, warm white and probably a tiny bit of the red to not the red the color that we are using which is the, the red violet so that red violet the sap green the red violet and the warm white and I'm making I put a tiny bit of the red to dull it down and uh, and I am making a medium value green if you want to darken just put more and that's gonna be for my leaf and I'm going to base coat them in here. Hmm. I'll be up to there. A space coat the other ones. I put another one in here. I don't want to cover too much my cells because I just love those cells. And maybe I was thinking maybe another one in here. Okay, I think three leaves is enough. I can put another one here, but I don't, oops, I can put another one here, but I don't want to cover that because I love that, um, I l super love that, um, cell in there with the green, I think it's very cute, so I don't want to put any more, and I'm going to put, uh, some squigglies, squiggly lines to make it, you know, prettier, but, uh, let's, Put also some of the ultra um, the tallow blue, and let me tell you, I just grab um, whatever blue red that I found. <laughs> you know, we mix, we can do. Uh, we have all the colors in here because we have all the primary, so that is good. Let's mm, take this blue and add this red and add this green and make an even darker green but a tiny bit duller see an even darker green can have a tiny bit of white too I mean um, so make it opaque you know so start shading this leaf with this color that I just mixed Trying to blend as I go. Should be darker in that uh, area. Let's put it dark in here.
highlight with a tiny bit of yellow, uh, one white and that color. Maybe a tiny bit of the red to tone down that color. Let's blend that highlight with what I have in here, this medium value. Blend and blend with the dark. I don't want to have huge videos, so I'm just going to do one leaf for you. Okay, so let's do just one leaf. Should have changed, should have changed um, the brushes because uh, these brushes I like to use them for the roses and not for this type of blending. So I'm just gonna change it. They're longer than my chisel blenders, and let me do it, and I will be right back. Okay, just. It's going to dry. I just, let me breathe right back. Black Gold by Dynasty 206 CV. The one that I was doing using for the rose, they're no longer in the market. They're Betty Bird, Betty Bird Aqua Sable. They were wonderful for that, but they're not anymore in the market. So, less, um, seems that I, Stain my piece in there and I'm not able to remove it but that's okay so we are highlighting in here and I remove the paint and I go to the dark color and I have to remix because I use, completely used that dark that I had in there Doing a lot of mixing today. More of the green. And these paints are already drying. You know, we have to remember that we do we're not using oils. <laughs> and so that's why they're drying faster. Okay, I was mixing again the, the dark. And I'm not gonna spend too much time on these leaves because you know it's not the most important part. So let's just put a bane with a liner. Even more light. You have to be able to see it. Try it too much, but that's all right. I will. I could not see the others. You can also let's darken the let's darken the this thing here. Tiny 
maybe it underneath this pane you can darken that too um, going to take um, the light color that I mix and I'm gonna put a highlight in here Let's blend that with a medium color that kind of makes that um, disappear in there so let's go back and put some color Um, let's put some of the colors of the flower the pink um, was done with the red violet plus uh, the um, red violet plus the white and we can put an accent let's put it here since that is disappearing from us and then we can also put some of the blues with a dirty brush, let's take some blue plus the warm white. So it has also some of the red. And let's put some of that on the other side. It's probably too light. Probably too light. Let's go back to the green. Go back to the green. It was too light. Let's go back to that blue. I want to put back that vein in there. Oops. That was too much. highlighting the vein okay I'm not going to do anything else <laughs> well maybe a tiny bit of darkening in between that was the pink I'm trying to put that pink back in there My colors are drying too fast. So hot here in Florida, so everything dries super fast. Okay, that's it for the leaf. Not gonna touch it anymore. I'm gonna do the others. And uh, I'll be right back to show you the veins. I lied. I decided to put it darker in this tip and in here. Tiny bit more color. And that's it. I'm going to do the others. So this is the squigglies. That you do. Do uh, this going in different directions. So for example, let's put one that 
it is hiding from there like that you may have to go back over it so that it shows um, you can do another one that is longer Let's see So imagine that it's coming out of there let's hide it below, be, behind that one okay Let's put um, maybe one in here. I'm not going to put too many, you know. This is how to be lighter in here. Maybe darker. I don't see it. <laughs> so I'm just going to put darker, shade it. Okay. So that's it for squigglies. And that's it. I'm going to sign my name and uh, take everything from here and show you the final piece. Thank you. Show you the final piece. I forgot to tell you about the center. Let's put some um, orange and with white dots in here. And maybe sometimes you can put a uh, yellow plus white. I think that's enough. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to put, uh, sometimes people put green in there. Well, let's put some green. I think that's enough so here is the final piece i hope you enjoyed the video please come back for other videos i just love the cells on this pour and i wanted to, to save as many as possible that's why i didn't put too many leaves and i hope you like what we did in here and i have a question for you uh would you like to see more roses in different colors. Uh, I have different methods. Please watch the other videos that I have about roses. I have a method that is easier than this one. Um, I want to do another one on this piece, but instead of putting a pink one, I want to paint. I put. A, I want to put in here a white one. So probably a white one with tints yellow tints, maybe some green tints or uh, purplish tones, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I, I paint as, as I go and uh, change because I was not planning on putting all these uh, blue tints and I, you know, this was not planned as I was painting, I decided to do it this way. So let me know if you want to see other roses. And please check the other videos that I have of roses, okay? Have a wonderful day.